I am glad you have gathered here with me today so that I may tell you all an important story. It is the story of the prodigal son. And though at first it may seem like a simple tale, there is a lot we can learn from this story. I want you to listen closely so that we all might learn an important lesson about how to live a good life from the story of the prodigal son. What does the word prodigal mean? Great question, Peter. Prodigal is a word for someone who spends a lot of money they don't have on silly things and is too fond of wasting money. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, the story goes like this. Once upon a time, there lived a family, a father and his two sons. They lived together in a nice house and were helped by the couple of servants they had. They were not extremely wealthy, but their father was a wise man who made sure to save up as much as he could to make sure that the family would be supported once he was gone. The two sons both helped their father look after the house and farm the land that they owned. They owned goats, sheep, and cows, and the boys helped their father make sure that the animals were always well fed and well looked after. The father loved his sons deeply, and although the sons loved him back, they were not perfect. The younger son was known for being prodigal or very wasteful with money. Any time he got some money, he would usually spend it straight away. He wasn't good saving up his money the same way that his father was. Over time, the younger son began to feel frustrated with his work on the farm. He longed to be rich and live the extravagant life of his dreams. He knew that his father had been saving up money to leave behind for him and his brother. And he decided to go and ask for his portion of the money early. Father? What is it, my boy? I have something I want to ask you. Ask away. Well, I know that you have been saving up money for my brother and I for quite some time. That is true. I want you boys to have a comfortable life once I'm no longer around. That money will keep you both safe. Well, that's the thing, father. I was wondering if I could maybe get my inheritance early and take my portion of the money now. The father was surprised by this request, as he had planned for his sons to get their inheritance after he had died. He wasn't expecting to hand over their inheritance while he was still alive. He was a bit worried, for his younger son was known for being irresponsible with money and spending too much, too often. But the father respected his son's wishes and went to divide up what he had saved. Okay, son, if that is what you wish, I'll give you half of your inheritance now. I only hope you make good use of it. Oh, thank you, Father. I will finally have the money to live the life I dream of. But it was only after a few short days that the younger son announced he would not be staying. 
He was going to take the money his father had given him and travel to a faraway land. Goodbye, everyone. I'm off to seek adventure in faraway places full of excitement and riches. The rest of the family was sad to see him go, but did not try to stop him. And so, the younger son did as he said he would. He rode off to a distant land and sought out all the pleasures this new life had to offer. He spent money on fancy food, expensive drinks, big parties, and many other things that would not please God. He did not pay attention to how much anything cost or how much money he had left. It was not long before the prodigal son realized that pretty soon all the money his father had given him was about to be gone. When the prodigal son spent all his money, he became desperate. Quickly, the memory of the fine foods he had eaten were replaced by hunger, and there were no more parties for him to distract himself. The prodigal son went to look for work wherever he could find it. Eventually, he came across a pig farmer who would allow him to work for him. Times are tough, boy, but I can try to spare some food for you if you're able to watch over and feed the pigs. It wasn't much. But the prodigal son was happy to have a way to feed himself. Yes, of course, thank you. And so, for a time, the prodigal son worked as a pig farmer in exchange for tiny pieces of food. But during this time, a great famine struck the land, and food became even more difficult to find. The farmer could not give the prodigal son as much food as he needed to stop being hungry all the time. One day, the prodigal son caught himself watching with jealousy as the pigs ate their scraps. When he realized that he was feeling jealous of the pigs for the scraps they were given, he knew he could not remain like this. He thought of the servants back at his father's house and how they were always treated with respect and had enough food to eat. He instantly regretted abandoning his father's household. I have wronged my father by taking my inheritance and leaving to live a life of sin instead of taking care of my family home. I will go back and offer my services to my father as a servant and hope that he finds it in his heart to let me back into his home. And so the prodigal son made his way back to his father's household. As he neared the home, the prodigal son grew even more afraid that his father would reject him and not allow him to work as a servant. But before the son even reached his home, his father spotted him and ran happily to greet him. Father, forgive me. I should not have left and been so prodigal with my inheritance. But the father did not care. He was just happy to see his beloved son again. If you will forgive me, I wish to work as a servant for you and make it up to you. No, my son. 
You need not be sorry, and you needn't work as a servant either. I'm just happy to have my son back. The father was so happy that he ordered the servants to prepare one of their finest cows for a big feast dinner to celebrate. The older brother was working in the fields when he heard that his brother was back after wasting all of his inheritance. When he heard that the father was going to reward the prodigal son with a feast, he became angry and went to confront his father. Father, what is the meaning of this? Why are we throwing a feast for my brother when he acted foolishly and wasted his inheritance? The father calmed his eldest son and explained, Because, my dear son, for a time we had lost him completely. It was as if he was dead, and now we will feast to celebrate that he is alive again. And that was the tale of the lost prodigal son who returned home. And what can we learn from this story? This story teaches us to be grateful for that which we have lost, especially when it is returned to us. The father knew that even though his son was not perfect, it was more important for him to treat his son with love than be angry at his prodigal spending. Even when someone has acted badly, when they decide to change their lives and become a better person, like the son did, it's important to support that change. This is how God views us. Even when we do bad things, as long as we decide to become better, God will show us love and acceptance, just like the father did to his son.